Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we will see what is platform independent programming language. So let's begin our session. This is the agenda of the session. What is platform, platform independent language? Why Java is platform independent? What is platform? Platform consists of processor or we can say CPU and the operating system. What is platform independent programming language? It follows the concept of write once and run anywhere. Means you can you can run the code of one platform on the other platform. Means you, if you have compiled the code on Lina, let's take an example of Java. If you have compiled the code of Java on Linux, you can run that bytecode or compiled code on the Mac OS. So that is write once and run anywhere. So the, the language or code which can also be run on other platform on which it was not compiled means the code compiled on one platform can also run on the other platform. This is called platform independent programming language. The examples of such language very famous Java and Python. Now let's understand this platform independent language with the help of one example. So here at the left side in the yellow box, this is the source code and I have taken the example of Java. So the file name is test.java and we are compiling on the windows system and after compilation we are getting the byte code or we can say the compiled code and the we can say also the file name is test.class and then you are executing this code and getting the output. So here this byte code or compiled code can run on Linux or Mac operating system. So to run on the Linux or Mac operating system, you don't have to recompile this source code again in, in those system like Linux or Mac. Even though the code has been compiled on the windows, but you can execute or run that code on the Linux or Mac operating system. You don't have to recompile the source code to run on the Linux or Mac. So this is the platform independent language. And these languages support the code portability means you carry the compiled code of one platform to another platform and you can execute that compiled code on the other platform. So this is the code portability. Java supports the code portability. Now let's see why Java is platform independent. I have attached one screenshot. The left side you can see the Java code which is the source code of Java. The file name would be with extension of .java. Then we compile this, this source code and we get the byte code bytecode ex extension would be dot class then we execute this bytecode suppose you have you have compiled the code on the windows system after compilation you have got the bytecode so that bytecode can be executed on the linux can be executed on the mac operating system or can be executed on the windows itself so you don't have to recompile the source code to run on the Linux or to run on the Mac operating system. This is the reason Java is platform independent. Now one thing we need to keep in mind that suppose you have a Linux machine. In that Linux machine, we install the Linux JRE or we, you can say JDK. If you have a Mac operating system, then you install the Mac JRE or JDK. Corresponding to operating system, we have a JRE or JDK. So, so what we can say, this JVM, Java Virtual Machine, is platform dependent. For the Linux operating system, you are installing a Linux JVM. For the Mac operating system, you are installing Mac JVM or JR, you can say, 
or you can say java mac java java software for the windows you are installing windows jvm or jre or jdk so the jvm or jre or jdk you can say these are the platform dependent but java is not platform dependent java is platform independent because of these dependent jvm only java is platform independent here i have also mentioned java code is compiled into byte code which cannot be understood by the processor directly so java provided jvm to convert the byte code into machine code which can be run by the processor because the processor can only understand the machine code and jvm converting that machine byte code into machine code so the jvm makes java platform independent however jvm itself is platform dependent so this is the reason why java is platform independent